Hey y'all, Decamon here, and welcome back to Final Fantasy 16. Oh boy, it has been a minute since I have booted this thing up. Actually, several minutes. <laughs> I still have not finished my New Game Plus run. I hate to admit that. It's just been my schedule has not given me the time I needed to finish this. And unfortunately, I'm not going to get any time over vacation because I can't take the PlayStation with me. It's just too darn big. Don't fit in the suitcase. Not to mention the thing's kind of awkward. That's the one downside of a PlayStation 5. The 4 was so nicely compact, especially the Pro version. It was beautiful. It traveled like a dream. This thing, this thing don't travel. It's too big. Anyway, today we will be starting the first of the two DLC packs released for Final Fantasy 16. I say released, though the second one isn't out yet. We only have a teaser for it. But the first one is out and I cannot wait to play it. I will have to, of course, play it on my original file and not the New Game Plus version. A little sad. I would love to. Yeah, as you can see, my level 70 guy. I ain't there because in order to actually get access to the DLC, you literally need to be on the final quest. So, yeah. There it is. Echoes of the Fallen quest line. A new quest line, Echoes of the Fallen, is now available by speaking with Karen at her stall in the hideaway. Well, sweet. That's my plan. Not like I got anything else I can do on this file. New items are now available. <laughs> uh, as a side note, this also gives a, uh, a boost to the level cap. Yeah, the original level cap of 50. This DLC cranks it up to 55. Now, there's one other thing that I want that is super duper important. Yes, I see it. I love the fact that it's even a different color. Where, oh, where would I find redeemable items? Yes, there's a bunch of new redeemable items. The Onion Sword. The Buster Sword. And a new Orchestron Roll. All of which are very nice. Uh, I'm actually sorely tempted to uh, put the Buster Sword on as a glamour. Just so we can have some fun with it. Might as well. Come on. Oh, uh, I love the fact that they gave us a glamour system. Uh, I'm going to turn everyone back to normal just for this. Uh, Ambrosia's fine. Uh, now for weapons. Where would be my booster sword? Taking up this cold, unassuming steel in one hand invokes strange yet familiar images of friendship and rivalry, love and loss, while the notches along its blade speak of hardship and measurable. <laughs> God damn. Clive's with a buster sword, and he's gonna wield this thing like everything else, just effortlessly. Although I'm gonna be woefully out of practice. Ah, it's a dangerous world out there. Yes, it is. Now let's get this new quest started. Something the matter, Karen. You seem perturbed. Do I know? How clever of you to notice. But yes. So much come to my attention, and I'll be damned if I know what to make of it. Hmm. Go on. Go on. It's probably quicker if I just show you. Here. Not either. Some sort of crystal. Though, I don't remember seeing one that color before. Shit, did I miss some other crystal oh, somehow? Yeah. That makes two of us. In all my long years of trading, both over and under the counter, I've never seen anything quite like it. They call in them Dusk Crystals, on account of colour. Do they work? I see. And they can be used to cast magics? That they can. Just like their brighter, shinier cousins. Differences? They don't last as long. After a couple of goes light in your pie, they crumble away to nothing. That's how I heard about them. Front crystal trade is moaning that someone's been flooding the market with dodgy goods. Hmm. And after asking the right people the right questions, and paying the right price, of course, I managed to get my hands on a sample. So where are they coming from? They see why you're perturbed. Eh? Um. I hope. 
Do you feel that, Clive? Oh god, I feel it! <laughs> what the hell is going on? Hmm? The heck was all that shaking and waking around, huh? Ugh. Meanwhile... Meanwhile... Oh! The Imperial Fringes. I see you guys are the ones mining these crystals. All right, lads. That'll do for today. Can I get some info on this guy? Oh, Active Time Echoes. Entries for Echoes of the Fallen will now appear in ATL. If you don't recognize a term, hold this to access relevant information. Awesome. Uh, so this is somewhere in Rosaria. Interesting. Uh, do, 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 do. Don't know anything there. Hooded Miner. The leader of a trio who appear to be involved in the Dark Crystal trade. Any attempt at identifying him is stymied by his hempen hood. Hmm. I said that'll do for today. Yes, Chief. Yes, Chief. <laughs> Fearful flunky and loyal lackey. Let's get this lot back to town, fill our purses, and then our bellies. What did you two do now? They hit it one too many times, clearly! Please tell us you bought another landing. Stay calm, both of you. Who needs a lantern when you've got one of these? Oh, that's a handy trick. Kind of cutting into the profits, though. Oh, all that work for a single spark. See what I mean? Well, there'll be no more sampling the merchandise today. Nani? Uh-oh. That sounded close, Chief. Really close. Yeah, it really, did. Really close. Now, lads, what am I always telling you? Good things come to those who run. Look <laughs> for us, Chief. <laughs> what in the heck? Where are you guys mining? Oh. Oh. No fucking way. No way! That is not Omega! That is not freaking Omega, is it? Though I saw the horizontal visor, it looks just like him from 14! I've never felt a tremor this far in land before. Me neither. But then, I'd never seen skies like these till a few moons ago, and it's been all change ever since. Oh uh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> this I is before the finale. The first anyone ever heard of these dust crystals was after you lot came back from the Dominion and brought this bloody weather with you. Do you think the two things are connected? Who knows? Hmm. Could just be that with Drake's tail gone, the black market was running short of the good stuff. The Dominion's mines were the only source of new shards left in storm after a certain evil outlaw decided to do away with the other mothers. Worth it, especially after what we know now. And crystals going through the roof, traders turned to dealing in stuff they'd never have touched before. Interesting question. Is there anything actually... Oh yeah, there is a couple pieces here. Uh, a couple pieces we actually... Have not seen before. The Mother Crystals, we've seen this. Clive and Joshua learned they were planted by Ultima for that very purpose. Yes, leaching ether from the earth. Uh, actual Crystal Crystals. After Ultima cast Primogenesis, the unbalance in the ether rendered many shards unusable and all but ended the large nations sharing what shards remained. Good old Primogenesis, uh, frickin' Ultima. All thanks to that. And then we have the new one, Dusk Crystals. Shadowy shards that can be used to cast magics just like any other crystal, but are far less resilient, cracking after only a few uses. They appeared on the black market soon after the skies darkened, and it was from here that Karen obtained her sample. The question is, who's selling these crystals and where are they? 
Wait. This color. They couldn't be from Origin, could they? Oh. <sighs> no, that wouldn't make sense. I saw it form in the sky, and that was long after we returned from the Dominion. But if they didn't come from Origin or any of the other Mother Crystals, then... Does that mean... That you missed one? Aye. That were my thinking, any road. Another Mother Crystal we didn't know about. Mm. I'll speak with Joshua. If you're right about this, we need to find it. And quick, I'd say. On account of which, I'll take this shard over to Tomes for you. Hmm. Get him to give it a once over, guess it rings any bells. Good idea. Right. Thank you. And I expect you'll be wanting Jill's help with this too. Naturally. Right again. I will. Let me go and find Joshua and we'll meet you in the shelves. <sighs> oh. That's new. <laughs> I got a new quest jingle. Oh, hello. A crystal darkly. Chasing the echoes. Quest destinations for Echoes of the Fallen are indicated with a purple marker. After accepting the quest, current objectives are displayed on the to-do list on the right-hand side. These will temporarily replace main scenario objectives. Ah. If you wish to restore the main scenarios to the to-do list, you can do so in the journals tab. Okay. So it becomes a replacement main story quest. That's nice. Also, I'm so glad I get to involve Jill in this. I feel bad that she just gets left behind for the final fight. Joshua. We need to talk. Karen's caught wind of something that I don't think we can afford to ignore. You know, in addition to the giant floating crystal in the sky where we get to have our final battle, I die horribly, you get resurrected, and yeah. Aye. That is troubling. Not least because the Undying made no mention of these dusk crystals in any of their recent reports. Mm. So they weren't aware of them either. That's perhaps, really troubling. Or perhaps they merely deemed them unworthy of my attention. Uh, wrongly, I might add, for I am inclined to share Lady Karen's misgivings. Then we'd better take her advice and consult Hippocrates forthwith. To the shelves, then. With our combined insight, I'm sure we'll discern something of use, be it no more than a place to start. Let's hope so. Mm-hmm. Yeah, here's hoping Tomes can actually give us some information. At least point us in the right direction. There you are. Hey, Jill. I've taken the liberty of telling these two everything I told you. Thank you, Karen. Very handy, that. It's hard to believe such a lusterless shard could conjure much of anything. And you truly think this came from a mother crystal? One we never knew existed? Every other shard in the twins did. Why should these dusk crystals be any different? Dim, though they may be. We know they first appeared on the black market shortly after Ultima Cast primogenesis, darkening the skies. Mm. So might the two be connected? Could the spell have created a new mother crystal, perhaps? A replacement for the ones we destroyed? Ah. What do you think, Hippocrates? Interesting theory. I think there may well be a connection. Yet... If we are to believe that the original Mother Crystals were of Ultima's making, does it seem likely that he would have need of anything so palpably inferior? No. I hazard that it was not Ultima who created these crystals, but humanity. More specifically, our fallen forebears, whose wonders litter the land even now. Uh -huh. Legend holds that the fallen challenged the gods in order to win their power and came tantalizingly close to doing so. It seems only reasonable that they should wish to learn the secrets of the crystals which the gods bestowed upon them. So they could make their own. Ah, Precisely. artificial crystal. You may recall that the tale of the sins of Zemeckis begins with the colloquy of the sages, a council wherein humanity sought to uncover the last secrets of the gods before waging their war to learn what little remained. It is perfectly possible that an understanding of how to craft crystals was among their many achievements. Hmm. Among their many achievements prior to their fall. <laughs> Indeed. The same enlightened souls forged great and terrible weapons called the Iconoclasts, from which icons derive their name, and turned them against each other in the Magitech War. 
Hello. Iconoclast, huh? It's a hell of a name. Also interesting, um, this is a side thing here, but uh, according to the 16 devs, they actually made enough lore of the Fallen that they could literally fill a whole game with it. And honestly, I'd love to see it. Give us a give us a sixteen two. Only to make its victors more. Make it a prequel where we get to play as the fallen. And when I'd love to see that. Ventured to do so. The resultant imbalance in the ether is said to have been so great that the skies themselves turned black and began to boil. The first recorded RK sky, I suspect. Mm. Which brings us back to the matter at hand. It is my belief that these shards are the product of a long slumbering Magitek mother crystal, stirred to life by a similar etheric upheaval to the one which accompanied its creator's fall. Primogenesis. There's only one way to know for sure. We track down whoever's selling them and find their source. Karen, where did you buy this one? Down in Port is older when I was scratching around for supplies. Since the Imperials buggered off and took the tariffs with him, you can find all sorts of interesting stuff on the docks. Really? Go and have a chat with the mercenaries guarding the gaze. Your uncle's got some good lads there. You know when to keep a watchful eye and when to turn a blind one. <laughs> Go and take the crystal with you. Might be your key to the underworld. Thank you. I will. Not a bad idea there, Karen. Shall we then? Brother. I'm coming too. If there is another Mother Crystal out there and it's anything like the others, you'll need all the help you can get. True enough. I was hoping you'd say that. One more time then. Together. Now the real question becomes, do I remember how to play as Clive? Or am I just going to get completely railed the first time we go into combat? Make for port is sold. Actually, give me half a sec. I want to see. Um... We did have a new trophy pop up, so now I'm very curious. Yeah, there are new trophies here. One, two, three, four, five new trophies. And not a lot of players have earned them yet, although that might just be because the game's not, you know, being played that much at the moment. Everybody's playing Baldur's Gate. Everybody and their grandmother's playing Baldur's Gate. Port is sold. And straight to cutscene, right off the obelisk. Nice. Slow down! Hey! It's the Three Stooges! Not bloody likely! Uh, I should really have stopped them. I really Fuck me! They're fast on their feet. Well, you're in armor, dude. What's going on here, I wonder? What indeed? Let's ask. <laughs> uh, I really should have just stopped them. Save me a lot of headache. You've reached a pivotal moment. If you continue, you will not be able to return. Proceed. Yes. I'm perfectly fine with that Excuse because me. I have nothing else to do in the main Who story. Just now. Bloody troublemakers, Atsu. As soon as I asked them to present their packs for inspection, they turned white as a sheet and leg did. That's a good I sign. I them all away from the gates, but they're swift as hares. Still, at least we kept the bastards out. Don't need their kind stirring up any more strife. Hmm. And what manner of strife have they been stirring up, exactly? Hey, Are you joking? This business with the crystals? Sorry, we've been away for a while. What's been going on? <laughs> All right, I'll humor you. After the paltry rations the Imperials left behind dried up, folks started trading crystals out in the open. We turned a blind eye at first. Lord Byron's orders. Well, Good on you, Uncle Byron. We right to deny people the one thing they were all clamoring for. Till the dust started turning up, that is. Dusk crystals, they're called. Ill-favored shards that crack as soon as you look at them. Not that the folk who bought them by the bucket load knew that. And they were baying for blood when they found out. Mm -hmm. In the end, his lordship had to step in and ban the blasted things. And we've been searching the pack of every trader who's darkened our gates ever since. I see. And you think the men you were pursuing might have been trading in these dusk crystals? Why, you're in the market for some. 
Anyway, I wouldn't rule it out. In fact, I put a few gill on it. So would I. We might still be able to catch them. We might. If you are heading up that way, you want to keep your sword handy. It's more than dodgy traders plying the roads these days. True. Understood. We'll be careful. Plus, I need an excuse to take this buster sword out for a few swings. If those men were selling dusk crystals, I think it's unlikely that they will risk returning to Port Isolde. Which means this might be our only chance of catching them. Uh, oh, okay. And I can see my obelisks have been locked out. Very interesting, very interesting indeed. Is that them up there? Maybe? Possibly? Well, this is the quest marker. There's another one. Bigger one this time, too. Still no sign of those traders, though. No. I just hope we haven't lost them. I guess that's not them, after all. These blimmin' tremors are scaring off all our customers. <laughs> the few that weren't scared off by the skies, you mean? Uh, perhaps one of those merchants has seen something. Hmm. Not a terrible idea. Forgive me, but did you happen to see three men in robes pass this way? Yeah, I seen them. <laughs> Poor bastards. Why do what you do say you that? A gang of nasty-looking brutes was on their trail. Oh. Nasty-looking brutes, you say? Oh, we have a name, Famiel. Hm. Caught up with them just up the road. Screaming at them, they were. Your crystals are your lives and all that. Only the daft buggers kept their crystals and legged it. In which direction, out of interest? Up that way. Ah. <sighs> Of course. I we'll have to keep chasing them down. Towards the old hill docks. If it's help they seek there, they won't find any. But perhaps they might find a place to hide. Let's hope so. And then we can find them before their pursuers do. Thank you. And please, take care on the road. Mm-hmm. Come on. They're no good to us dead. Lead the way, brother. Run like the wind. Let's go catch him. What the hell? Oh dear. So the bandits haven't found them either. There's still time. Hmm. Sounds like I need to be clearing out some banditos. All right. Is that my play here? Because clearly this is a huge search radius. And over those crystals. Yeah, good luck with that, buddy. Come here to brawl with brigands, brother. You're right. <laughs> Let's focus on finding the traders. Yeah, but it was fun. Ah, uh, uh, fine, brother. You Not gonna stop me. All too easy. No quest marker yet. Where'd those little buggers get off to? Still haven't found them. Oh, hello. Camera suddenly changed to angles. I was like, oh, there we are. You know, I kind of hope these guys are pigs and wedge. This should be far enough. Hey, at least I found them finally. <laughs> uh, Chief, they've found us. 
It's getting so a man can't even catch his fucking breath. Gentlemen, a word. We understand you've been selling some crisps. And like I told you, thieving mates, you're not fucking getting them. We don't want them, dude. You can take your massive sword and shove it. <laughs> I'm sure I could, but we're not thieves. Over here. I can smell the one who shat himself. Those guys, on the other hand, they're um, definitely thieves. You've got a plan, Chief. Tell us you've got a plan. Of course I've got a bloody plan. Good things and all that. Let's start again, shall we? You say you're interested in the crystal trade? Mm-hmm. Not exactly. In actual fact, we were hoping to talk about this. Is that all? Well, then I know just how to help. If you're after the short shifter, he's over here! Oh, fuck you. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I can deal with these guys, no problem, but fuck you all the same! Slippery little pricks. Clinkers on the ground, quick as you like. Gentlemen, you've got it all wrong. Do we look like merchants? He's the one you want. See what I mean? Just look at what he's got in his hand. What? Him? Wait, I'm not. <laughs> We've been set up. Do let us know if you need any more help. Oh, this guy's gonna get smacked so hard when I catch up to him again. Don't get far, Clive. No. But they'll wish they had. Yeah, also, yes. Clive wields the thing literally one handed. I'll carve you like a suckling pig and feed you to your fucking dog. Kind of you to think of him. Alright, I don't know who's casting cure, but you need to stop. one buddy he was he was legit the last one sure I was not difficult and I get a load of nothing did you see which way they went north making for three reads at a guess uh, this is just gonna be the first half of this it's just me chasing these three bozos if they reach the swamps, we'll never pick up their trail. Oh my goodness. Didn't look like they got too far. There was something odd about those mm. three. They seemed less like merchants and more like... Charlatans? One might argue that a merchant is naught but a mama without his motley. Then why am I not amused? <laughs> ah, fair enough, fair enough. Don't mind me, Mr. Bighorn, just passing through. Oh, I'm getting kicked off here. Must mean we're in the right spot. Oh. What did he find, boy? They lightened their load. Clive, judging by the state of the ground, a lot more passed this way than our three charlatans. Another group of bandits. Bigger, I'm betting. I doubt they'd leave this crystal behind. Regardless, we're on the right track. Let's pick up the pace. I'm trying to, but you keep kicking me off my damn chocobo. Eh, I only have to go 100 meters. I don't really need chocobo for this. Uh, just, they wouldn't oh. risk stopping at Martha's rest, would they? Not if they hope to pass unnoticed. Then we'd better stick to the swamps. Okay. Ah, I see. Loop around, of course. Now, where'd you little buggers get off to? There they are, I see them. I think you've lost them. I think we finally lost them. 
<laughs> you think you've lost me and I'm coming full tilt sword drawn. Fuck. Persistent bastards, I'll give them that. Friends, I knew those louts were no match for you. But of course you did. Because you know what we're capable of, don't you? No. You deal in crystal. Dusk crystal. And we want to know where you got it. So you're going to tell us. Let's assume for a moment that we are the merchants you're looking for. You are? Why would we tell you where we procure our stock? What kind of shepherd leads a wolf straight to oh, oh, not again with the earthquakes. Are they getting what? Oh. Um. That's new. Yeah, the tower. That shouldn't be doing that. That's new. That's impossible. Yeah, Chief. Do you think someone else got into the tower? Quiet, you daft sort. Oh, that's where you guys are getting those. They did. I, I wouldn't know. I've never been there. Echoes, maybe, or fallen rubbish. I really couldn't say. The entrance is sealed tight. No way in. And how would you know that if you've never been there? I uh... busted. Look. Behind you, an Akashic monster! If you think I'm going to fall for another one of your cheap tricks. Oh, god dang it. Clive, trouble. What? Oh, it's the bull I just passed earlier. Seems like he had a run in with an ether storm while I wasn't looking. Oh, you three, you, you better stay the fuck here. If you run away again, I am straight gonna cut your head off. Oh, god Wait, damn it. Don't you dare. I don't think Martha would appreciate that thing on her doorstep. Probably not. Fine. Then. I have an idea where they'll be heading anyway. Hmm. Is this something to do with the big door we couldn't open in the base game? Nice try. Boy, that smarted. Some damage. Wow. All right, let's just end this. Should be some. Yeah, there are some Akashic small fries left. I should thank Clive, or, or not Clive, uh, Joshua and Jill for handling the little ones while I dealt with the big one. Thank you. Well, that was ill-timed. But at least we know what was chasing the merchants. True. <sighs> That's twice we've saved them now. Oh, they really owe us. And then there's that. That's concerning. Extra concerning. That must be Omega's doing. I... I don't see anyone. I've had enough of bandits and beasts, Chief. Can't we just go home? And let those thieving pricks march in and take what's ours? What's ours? Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> you don't mean... The Dusk Crystal's Eye. Halleck? Malik? We're going back to that tower if it's the last thing we do. Ugh, I'm so disappointed. The lights, Chief. What about the lights? They should have been Biggs and Wedge. Come on. Uh, first you whine about it being too dark, then you whine about it being too light. 
Think about how easy it'll be to mine now. Yeah, think of all the things that are going to be alive in the tower wanting to eat you. <sighs> Should have just smacked him upside the head with the sword, Clive. Would have saved you a lot of trouble. And you're sure they're bound for the tower? <sighs> when they aren't running away from trouble, they're running towards it. Do you know anything of the place, Joshua? Alas, not. I have seen it labeled Sage Spire on some maps, but beyond that, Sage the ruins are no different from any other fallen derelict. Another impenetrable relic of the past. Not so impenetrable, apparently. Our friends plainly found a way in. They could be living there, like we do in the Invincible. Well, the tower is unquestionably large enough to hide three merchants. But is it large enough to hide what we seek? A mother crystal. It would go some way to explain why the area was among the first in Rosaria to fall to the Blight. Hmm. Then it's settled. We head to Eastpool and make our approach from the Dim. I see. Uh, Easy enough. Just teleport all the way over to the Dim. It's uh, plain and simple. <laughs> Make for the Sage Spire. There was the door that was in the dim that we could never open, right? Never did come back to it. Goblins. What are they doing in the Deadlands? Whoa. Uh, they look a little funny. Look what they're carrying. I don't recall ever hearing of goblins using fallen relics as weapons. Well, they certainly are welcoming gifts. Clive, remember where we are. No magic, right? Oh, this is gonna suck. I can't use magic. They're even uglier up close. Yeah, I am straight up can't use magic. Get him. That, this actually makes this fight a little interesting. Yeah, no iconic abilities, no limit break, no nothing. Just a slug. <sighs> Josh, probably not really super healthy with being in the Deadlands, you know. That fight could have been a lot worse if they threw something bigger at us. <laughs> but they finally did the thing that I was expecting them to do at all times when they had us marching through here. Give us something to fight in an area where there's no magic. I'm so glad they finally did that, even if it was just goblins. Let's hope that was the last of them. Indeed. I'd almost forgotten what it was like to have to rely on steel alone. Clive? Joe? You may want to see this. Mm hmm? I may want to see what, Josh? It was the door. And it's open! Those little bastards. They cracked the door it somehow. Was open when I found it. Someone was in a hurry. Three guesses as to who. Then this must be their way into the tower. Mm-hmm. There's only one way to find out. Well, well, well. Yeah, this, uh, this looks like it leads towards the tower eventually, geez. It's a long ways off, though. Oh, the only way is up. And it leads to an action stage. Sweet. The Sage Spire. In momentous silence do withered specters watch from on high, ever reminding us how far we have climbed, how far we have fallen. Can't wait. Damn. 
the Sage Spire. Dude, this thing is humongous. <laughs> oh, listen to that. Somebody's woken this place up. The question is, who? Well, I can tell you who it wasn't. Unauthorized biometrics detected. I Someone's here. Initializing security scan. Safety protocols disengaged. Oh, that's not good. I don't think that was someone, Clive. I think it was the tower. <sighs> Either way, it doesn't sound like we're welcome. Keep your guard up. No. There's gonna be echoes everywhere in here, aren't there? The gallery. The Sage Spire, the tower. What do we got here? The tower. The voice of the Sage Spire, or at least one heard echoing through its halls. It regards Clive and his allies as unwelcome intruders and seeks to remove them. Not merely from the tower itself, but from existence. Its cold inhumanity suggests that it has no human consciousness at its core. It is not but another diabolical device of the Fallen's creation. The Sage Spire. Another ageless relic of the Fallen, the Sage Spire has loomed dark on northern Rosaria horizons for as long as anyone can remember. Local legends about the tower being haunted abound, and as such, the remote upland moors upon which the tower stands remain largely uninhabited to this day, despite having been yet claimed by the Blight. Over the years, myriad attempts to find an entrance to the ruins have ended in failure, but that does not necessarily mean that someone, or some three, has not already stumbled across a means inside. I wonder how they were getting in, because I don't think they were using the front door like we just did. Intruder. Alert. Intruder, alert. I think my powers have returned. Yep. You? Woo! I'm loving this! Dude, the music here is so good. Oh, so good, man. He is back in fine form. It's not like he ever left fine form. I'm so glad to have him back. Oh. Like, I don't get me wrong, I love me some Yokoshima Mora music too, but, uh... Man, I have missed having some good Soken music to listen to, some new Soken music to listen to, no less. God, listen to that! That is gorgeous sounding! Got them all? Alright, nice. Anyone else getting like major coils of Bahamut vibes here? Maybe that's just me, but I don't know, the, the music is just giving me that feel right now. Oh, those are active. It's so good. Listen to it. It's going in. Oh, you got oist. And he's done. Huh. Oh, that was a chest for half a second. Sorry. And to think there could very well be a fight against Omega at the end of this. If that thing was Omega, I think it is. Escapement pit? Excuse me. That was a new piece of equipment you done dropped. I'm very curious. Reduces ability cooldown time and restores a small amount of HP regen jade following a precision dodge. Effect potency is directly affected by the strength of the attack dodge. Oh. Oh. That's pretty freaking good. I'm gonna be honest, that's pretty freaking good. Oh, there's goblins in here too. Hearth Flame, what is this? Some opponents will cast the spell Hearth Flame to summon magic spheres to protect allies and deal damage to anyone who come in contact with it. Enemies accompanied by Hearth Flames can be identified by the six icon above their heads. 
The sphere can be dispelled by attacking it, but be warned, melee strikes will deal Clive damage, so ranged spells are... They have their own version of Will of the Wikes. You're shitting me. More goblins. So now we know where they got their weapons. They have their own version of Will of the Wikes. That is bonkers, and I love it. But how long have they been hiding here? Oh, and the number tells me how many spheres he's got left. God, the music is so good. Oh, wave two. Oh! Big wave two. There we are. Oh, ho, ho. nice try, buddy. Back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. Seen that gag. Sphere anymore. There we are. What did he drop? Oh, just high pots. Nice. Very nice. Whoa. Found where the dust crystals were coming from. Everywhere. Well, that's one mystery solved. But there's no mother crystal. Yet. We still have plenty of tower to explore. <laughs> that is true. Shit, this stuff's growing like an infestation. It's very odd. Was this some sort of fallen experiment then went haywire? Oh, fuck me. I that voice. Come on. <sighs> Do we really have to save them? Come on, I don't care what it is. Let them, let the frickin' thing squish them. What in the net? Ah, fine. I still say let them get squished. I'm tired of chasing these idiots. Whoa. Well, look who it is. A Typhon? Maybe? No. That's something new. And it's not happy. Or it's completely indifferent. I haven't decided yet. It hasn't taken a swing, it's just... looking at them. Warning. Warning. Core defense systems engaged. Initiating sterilization lockdown. Oh hey, I'm betting. I'm betting that's our mother crystal. Joshua. That's not good. You three should run. Good things. Whoa. Okay, he took a swing. <sighs> Fine, I'll step in. Good night. <laughs> hey. Over here. 
There's our mid-boss music. Take your friend and get out of this place. Now! He's big and angry and he glows with an awesome power. Hmm. So I'm guessing that mother crystal we saw was the power source for this place and it looks like it's kind of been growing. Why do you fighting? Uh, a little out of control here. What are you? Sigma! Oh no, we are definitely seeing Omega at the end of this. Come on, I want to get a full charge here. Woo, okay, maybe not. Okay, all right, time to start fucking, enough fucking around. Let's actually get this fight started. This guy actually is pretty decent. Oh, that's going to do some damage. There's the half stagger. Some good will damage. Back up, back up. You are big chunks, big damage, big chungus. Oh, that was a nice chunk of change out of the old life bar. 122k, not bad when I'm not using Odin. Oh, that's a lot of AoEs. Oh, thank you, Will of the Wikes. Ah, that stung. Already back to the half stagger. All right, see if I can't take another chunk out of it. Oh, yes, the counter punch. Okay, that was not precision. Oh god! Oh, 
saved. This should be enough. Yep, I didn't think he had much left in the tank. Sigma defeated. Dude, man, I didn't know I was playing Mega Man X again. <laughs> oh, I missed that game. What is this? Living Tissue. Fallen Enforcer. Huh. Cool. New weapons. I wonder, I doubt they'll be better than the God of Damarong. Security Sentinel 503 offline. Oh god, there's a lot more of those things, aren't there? Initiating emergency call relocation protocol. If I didn't know better, I'd say that was the heart of a mother crystal. Uh-huh. An artificial mother crystal heart and that's been growing out of control and trying to turn this place into a mother crystal, probably. Oh. Convenient that the door's open. <laughs> I knew that fallen thing was no much for you. Allow me to apologize for earlier. That was, uh... Your last mistake. Ill played. Yo, shit, ill played. Ugh. Oh, we have a name for this asshole, finally. The leader of a trio who appeared to be involved in the dust crystal trade. After being chased from the gates of Portis sold on suspicions of trading and contraband, they fled north with bandits and beasts in pursuit. Their path took them nigh to the Sage Spire, an ancient fallen tower with which they seem strangely familiar. And then there's these two ding-dongs. One of Famiel's familiars, alongside Halleck, engaged in mining shards of dust crystal from the Magitech Mother Crystal. Being strong of thew and sunny of spirit, he finds himself well suited to physical tasks. And a good thing, too, for those in Famiel's employ often find themselves having to run for their lives at a moment's notice. <laughs> Ain't that the truth? Halleck, one of Famiel's familiars, alongside Marnik, engaged in mining shards of dust crystal from the mine. Magitech Mother Crystal. His natural nervousness is exacerbated by the perilous situations to which his chief is wont to expose him. All born of a misunderstanding, though. Can we start again? We don't need your apologies. We need answers. And you're going to give them to us. I uh, suppose you'll be wanting to know about the tower, then. That'd be a good place to start. As you've probably guessed, this isn't the first time we've been here. Fact is, my people have been coming to this place for centuries. Eh? Have they now? To these ruins in particular? Aye, well, they, uh, talked to us. Told us what this lot was all for. And what is it for? Well, believe it or not, the Fallen were actually using this place to make their own, uh, Mother Crystal. Gee. Though, despite years of searching, all we ever found was shards. Then, Harpocrates was right. It would seem that the Fallen did indeed acquire the gods' ability to craft crystals. They went perfectly. I go that far. The shards aren't exactly divine. They're not even what you'd call decent. But they're better than nothing, and nothing is what our people had before we found them. So we've been coming here ever since. But these dust crystals have only recently appeared on the black market. What made you decide to start selling them? The skies. Once they went dark, the crystals started growing back till there were more than you could count. Oh. And with the mothers all cracked, anyone with anything that could muster so much as a spark had people queuing up to take their coin. Yes. At a cost to us all. Quality apart, these crystals are no different from the ones the world has been using since the dawn of time. And it cannot continue. No. It cannot. While this is clearly none of Ultima's doing, there can be little doubt but that it serves his cause. Then our path is clear. Huh. So let's do what must be done. Wait, you lot aren't thinking what I think you're thinking, are you? We are. Oh, I think there's a good <laughs> chance we are. <laughs> but, uh, what about... What about the tower's defenses? 
Shouldn't be a problem. Thing you just fought, it won't be the last one. And the further you climb, the worse they'll get. How about we head back to Martha's before someone gets hurt, eh? That is sound advice. For you. Which I suggest you take before someone gets hurt. <laughs> Still curious as to why Primogenesis would cause the crystals to start growing out of control. Are you sure you don't want to think this over? We could talk about it outside, where it's safe. No. I've never seen anything like that in here before. I swear. I no. told the chief we should go home. Oh, okay. I told him. Huh. To think the Fallen built all this. The knowledge they must have needed. Knowledge now lost. Knowledge that could potentially be gained again? Somewhere in the tower? You know, always a possibility. Uh... Shit, which way do we go? Try left first, I suppose. Or is this going to be a case where the two paths just converge together at the end? Yeah, it is. Okay. Does not look like there is a, a, a left or right. Like every other fallen ruin, then there'll be a lift. Yes, there will. How upward are we needing to go? I mean, I imagine it's right to the top, but I don't think this lift will get us all the way. No, sir. Not this quickly. There are going to be several pit stops along the way. See? The lower ring. <laughs> the lower ring, you say? Uh huh. That's the only door that looks like it's lit up. Whoa. Any idea what those are? They seem to be containers of some sort. Oh, or perhaps. Cages. Like some sort of twisted menagerie. But why here? God, the fallen were no better than the Alligans, it seems. See what I mean? Why this said this reminds me of the coils. <laughs> now we got them frickin' ex you know, locking up creatures and probably doing some sort of twisted experiments on them. Fallen belt. Oh right, I wanted to check that sword that we got. Like, got our Dameron's 375. This is better than Goddard Dameron. You're shitting me. It's better than Goddard Dameron. Well, all right then. I guess I'll just take Goddard Dammer. <laughs> what about the fallen belt we just picked up? It is better than the <sighs> wow and the DLC stuff. And it's white quality. That's hilarious. It is white quality, and yet it's somehow better than what I have. That's a lot of critters they were whole knocked up in here. And this room is big enough they're gonna wake up and start fighting me. How many of these things are there? Contaminant detected. Releasing subjects Alpha to Epsilon. Ah, <sighs> crud. Wait, they're still alive. Yep. But this tower is more than 15 centuries old. Oh, new enemies, you say? Yeah, the whole place is just gonna start coming alive. This is the freaking Alliance! This is literally all you guys are. You're just the freaking Alliance all over again. If they build this place to 
grow crystals. Why imprison creatures here? Now, there's a lot of different possibilities there. Experiments. Guards. Maybe they weren't imprisoned here. Maybe they were grown here. That's always a possibility. Kind of an upsetting one, I'll be honest. Already. Huh. Right. That device. It glows just like the doors. Yeah, it does. Okay, fine. Thought there might be something in here. I thought the, the that when he started talking, he made it. He definitely made it sound like this was uh, the main path. Development log entry six eight zero nine two five. Hmm. Mitogenic reactor trial successful. Twenty three units of grade three C crystal produced. Moving forward, all seeds fabricated from inorganic material are to be replaced with lab-grown organic specimens. Organic specimens? So they were turning living creatures into crystals. Oh, shit. That's where they were getting their ether from. They were turning critters into crystals. God damn, you guys really are the fucking aliens. Oh, hi. Griffin! <laughs> Ooh, a little late there with that dodge. Woo! Got that one! Ooh, wow, that's smarted. Alright, this should just put him out of commission. Yeah, I know. I should have extended the combo a little longer. Wow, okay. He was a lot weaker than I thought he was in the long run. I kind of went a little all out and clearly did not need to. Hmm. Oh, hey. Okay, high pot. So many specimens here. Oh, is that where the goblins the came from? The creatures in these cages have been seen in Ballastia for a thousand years. Well, here's to a thousand more. Is that the case? Were these guys prematurely released from the cages? Chocobos. Too damn ugly to be chocobos. Oh, that's a wyvern. I don't want the raptor, I want the wyvern, but alright. Dick. 
but you aren't even gonna make it to a stagger. I'm just gonna take you out myself. And hey, 49. Nothing wrong with 49. Another chest. Nourishment bit. Okay, what is nourishment bit? Increase HP reg regain potential when taking damage while automatically restoring HP regain. Oh. I might use that over the adamantite gauntlets. Reduces my max HP, but gives me better ability to get it back. Eh, why not? No reason not to. Oh, right. I forgot how slow you are on dodge recovery. Oh. Hi. Okay, that's pretty fucking cool. He's like an Odin wannabe. Omicron! They built more than one. Though it appears this incarnation can fly. Nice try. Oh, I just lost all my shields. Oh, hi. Nice try. Let's go straight for the big freeze. Ooh, okay. I failed that precision dodge. Man, I'm just failing everything. Thank you, brother. Too slow. There's more. God dang, you hit hard. Oh, that works. Holy cow, this guy's got a lot of health. 80k, that wasn't great. Uh, the fuck is that? Oh! That could have gone better. Helping to stagger him out of that. Oh, Torgo went Fenrir. He's like a mini Odin with that sword. That might have done it. Yeah, there it was. Whoo! He was a tough customer. Not bad, buddy. Bombardment bit. Increases will damage dealt using aerial attacks by 20%. Increases maximum number of stomps from 2 to 3 or 6 if master. Shit. Well, I don't stomp very often. That makes two. So we'll leave that one off. But that is a cool sounding ability. Yes. But of how many? Well, that depends on how determined they were to conceal their activities. And from what we've seen so far, they're pretty damn determined. Lift. This is all too easy. If the tower is in control, why not simply disable the lift? What are you suggesting, Joshua? That it's hurting us. Hmm. 
better idea that it's testing us. Especially if this is Omega in control, he's probably itching for a good fight. There's an entire fleet. Hmm? Oh. I wonder if any is still capable of flight. Mid will want to see this. Oh fuck, don't even get her started. They have functioning airships here? That's kind of a terrifying thought, I'll be honest. Well, they won't work by the time we get done with Origin, because I'm pretty sure they all run on crystals! And, well, we all know what happens to crystals and magic by the time we're done with this game. They all gone straight to heck. Uh, speaking of heck, the heck are those? We got flyers here, lots of them. That's a lot of dragonets. Oh, you do not have protect. Oh, you do not have protect. Come on. guys on the ground. I mean, that's mostly what I use Torgles really good for dealing with this. There you go. Ground him. There. Chest. Thought I saw a chest when we were doing our little skirmish. Fallen bracelets. Let me guess. You're better than what I have on, right? You, for the most part, are. Of course you are. My HP's gone down a little bit, but that's all right. Defense has gone up. Whoa. That's a door. Crazy door. I don't like that that shot behind us. Hey, I'll take the pots. Oh, those are different. Activity detected in hangar bay. Mobilizing Aegis units. We're being watched. Then let's show them what we're capable of. <laughs> oh, okay. Death lasers! That's what we'd be careful of. Got a few of them out of that. Yeah, see if I can't get a couple more. You're finished. Ah, here you are. Oh, big one. Oh, I hate these big ones. Fuck your stagger gauge. There's a second one. this one out and that was a mistake that's all right 
Could have been worse. Could have been worse. Two of those guys. Never a fan of fighting that model of enemy. Disengagement bit. You stop giving me all these cool things? Incru indicates precise parry timing by temporarily changing the color of a target's display name. Increases slowdown following a successful parry by 20. Oh! Oh! That's not bad. I don't think I'm gonna use it though. But that's like they're giving us some cool items in this. Oh, that's a lot of specimens. That is a concerning number of specimens. They're all going to start waking up. Century prototype AM two two stasis silo west. I'm guessing that's where we are. Oh! Some kind of fucked up Aramon. We'll just have to hope those crystals it's sporting are as worthless as the others. I can't get that lucky. Oh, God. Ah, ah. Angraman? No way! You are not Angraman, you. Oh. <laughs> uh, quick jaw? Ah, got the real one. <laughs> Dude, I cannot believe we got Agraman you. Oh, I even got a counter punch out of it. Oh, yeah, still did not sidebar. There it was. Let. No, dude, this is a straight up FF14 attack. This is a straight up 14 attack. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, a parry! We were just talking about those earlier. Oh, that's all. That's a lot of clones there, my man. You have to be careful with all those clones. Alright, time to lay waste. Burn him! Burn him down to nothing! Oh god, he has so much health. God, I laid into him with everything I had and he's still going. That was 106k. That's not a bad little stagger. Uh oh, roulette again. Oh, there's less notches. And there's shit going on at the same time. Oh, I've missed this saw. That is a lot of dudes. Oh, not the clones again, man. Ah, 
I don't think that landed at all. Akamana? Oh. That's a cool little guy. What's he doing? Oh, he was trying for something. Come on, half bar, half bar. There's that half bar. Chill out, Agra. Man, that just did not do that much to him. Uh-oh, back to the roulette gag again. Oh, fuck. That was close. He ain't got much left. This might do it. I don't think I'm close enough to be hitting it with the the uh, the balls though. But I don't care. Giga Flare for the win. Oh. He was no slouch. Aqueous humors? Huh. Used in crafting. They're gonna expect me to go upgrade the stuff when I'm done with this, aren't they? Neural link lost. Re-establishing connection. Imagine an entire war fought with these things. Yeah, imagine. The quantity of ether required to animate them all would be unfathomable. No wonder they were trying to manufacture their own crystals. Unable to establish connection. Raising threat index. Oh. It That's really not a good sign. <laughs> when everything turns an angry red. Pages will open now. Don't tempt fate, Joshua. <laughs> Forgive me, brother. They may not. <laughs> I love that. Don't tempt fate, Joshua. Seriously. Code orange, huh? All oh, the music's changed. <laughs> Even the music's gone up a stage. Oh. Ooh. Okay. I'm starting to feel it. We're definitely getting somewhere with this. The upper ring. Quick sweep just to check for chest behind us. Is that living flesh? I'm beginning to think this whole tower is alive. Might not be a bad call there, Josh. Oh, what in the hell? More goblins? How'd you guys get up here? Yeah, well, burn them out. Just not gonna rally y'all. Got them all. Potion, oh, that's what that was. And yeah, the music's definitely getting angrier. Hmm? Where'd my hut go? Ah. Bonk. Assailment bit. Uh, 
Increases rate at which damage multiplier rises when enemies are staggered and increases the cap to 200%. The battle technique double impact is earned upon attaining the multiplier maximum. Fuck yes. Oh. No way. Listen to this. That is straight up Omega Steam from 14. That is straight up Omega Steam from 14. <laughs> Dude, you can't. Okay, there's no way this isn't Omega at the end. Like, that glimpse was straight up telling me that this was Omega, and the music is confirming it. Soken is reusing Escape from 14. And it's now Omega's official theme. It has to be. Or at least it's, you know, Omega's official theme in Soken's eyes. Oh, I missed that hard. <laughs> that is, that is, that is definitely escape. <laughs> Soken, you mad genius! I love it. Oh, God! Tell me this is well. Or is it some sort of corruption? I don't know, but wouldn't you say it looks oddly familiar? Uh, oh god. Oh god, I would, and I do not like it. Ultima's real form. The Ifrits. These guys were making a mother crystal not realizing what they really were. Oh, fuck. Fuck. That's it, isn't it? The Fallen were making a Mother Crystal, not realizing they were inadvertently growing their own Ultima. Oh, hello, Mr. Minotaur. Uh, do you mind? I was musing. Ah, uh, fine. Gives me an excuse to actually get... Oh, a Stereos? Born over 1,500 years ago. Yes. Gives me an excuse to get that damage multiplier all the way to 200%. Oh. Yeah, it did. <laughs> Two dodges and a full on parry. Oh! And a face check! Come on, buddy, you're gonna have to do a lot better than that. That's right, keep giving me those precision dodges. Ah, okay, that wasn't precision enough. All right, see if we can't get that multiplier all the way to 200%, baby. Oh, it's already over. Yes! 1.8. 1.9! Now that's some damage. I might have to restart my new game plus to uh, make some use out of these. Oh, that's kind of smart. Is it? Yep. Oh, will of the likes for the win, baby. Dude, that 200% is awesome! <laughs> Refinement bit. Improves limit break induced enhancements with, while increasing HP right during limit break by 50%. Also, if fatal damage is taken while the limit gauge is full, you auto generate preventing death. Except under special circumstances, such as being in the death lines. <laughs> bit fit. Obtain all fallen bits. That's the last one, huh? I'm gonna be honest. I like that one. 
Like, improves limit break induced enhancements. That's the important thing. I limit break a lot. Alright, well that also means I don't really need to be hunting too hard for stuff anymore because I got all the stuff. Emergency subroutines. Diverting reactor power. I think it's getting ready to receive us. Mm-hmm. It is indeed. Oh, listen to that. Do 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 do. Yeah. Ah, there's another one of those devices. Well, I clearly want to hear this. I want to hear this log about how you guys screwed up, just like the Allegans seem to constantly do. Log entry seven five zero five zero one. Average improvement of crystal resilience four hundred and ninety-two percent when biological core exhibits high ethereal congruity. Specimens with a congruity rating of 7 or below are to be sent to B-level for military repurposing. Waste not, want not. Guess not. Literally the Allegans is like, oh yeah, let's turn them into military bioweapons. Jesus. Uh, oh, down, 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 down. Uh, scorpions? Oh, and bombs! Well, here. Let's see if I can't chill out a few bombs. God, my stupid bar is already full again. Well, it is definitely doing some more damage from the feel of it. Oh, I'm just tearing this guy apart. Oh god. I did not realize my life bar. I was straight up not watching my life bar like I should have been. I was... Ah, I tunneled. I I'll admit, I tunneled there a little harder than I should have. Oh, hi. Uh, let there be a nice big group of goblins for me to burn. God, even the battle theme. Whew, good ice there, Jill. Good ice. <laughs> yeah, they were getting too close to the truth. That's what this is. Their crystal was going haywire. The worm mounts orchestron roll. What was the other thing I got? Dang damn it. I was too busy looking at the, the orchestron roll. I didn't see what the other thing was. Eh. Uh, I guess it doesn't matter now. It's not equipment. Might have been an item. Oh, this is definitely an arena. They built an army. Yeah, they did, and I'm gonna tear it apart! Oh, you're weaker than the last one. Why, a long shot. Oh, I'm gonna tear you apart, boy. <laughs> oh, I didn't quite make that 200%, but I got damn close. 
You're not making it to another stagger. Oh. Secondary and tertiary firewalls breached. Good red. Good red. The heart must be close. Mm -hmm. Code red indeed. Ain't gonna stop me, Omega. You're running out of shit to throw at me. Honestly, I'm enjoying myself. I have missed this game. Man, the alarms are just going bonkers, panicking. They're like, no! Don't do it! Don't kill me! All the way to the top. The Hall of Elicitation. Now's our chance. Oh my, oh my. Oh, there's a level above this. There is straight up a level above this. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, that's a mother crystal heart. Unauthorized entry detected. Primary core firewalls activated. Initializing iconoclastic defense system Omega-1. What the hell is an iconoclastic defense system? Uh, clearly it said Omega. We're about to find out. And that we will not like the answer. All right, come on, show him to me. I want to see him. Oh, 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 oh my God, he looks funky. Dude, he looks corrupted as shit. Uh, well, that's not good. Is he hiding it or did he absorb it? Core containment complete. Authorizing environmental sterilization protocol. Well, at least we know where it is this time. Quite. And if we want it... We're going through with Omega to get it. If we want it... All we have to do is kill an icon. <laughs> Not Weapons wrong! Weapons disabled. Weapons armed. Stand clear. Oh. <laughs> Oh, come on! Oh, what the fuck is this? I do not like this! Nice try. Uh oh, how, I'm gonna say, how big is that? Not too bad. I see, yeah, so the delta attack is what's causing, causing those to spawn in. Oh, that's a lot of laser beams. Ah, half stagger, nice. What the hell? Oh, I'm shooting the lightning rod. Here! Not standing in the way of a laser beam, please. Ooh, a little early. There we are! Big old counter punch! <laughs> Straight up using F 14 attacks. And I love it. Oh, that's smart. He hits hard. Oh, that's not going to do you any good. Oh, he's already at 2x. Burn! 
burn! Burn it all! Burn it all! Hundred and fifty K. Now that's how you do it. Uh, Is it over? Please tell me it's over. He had way too much life bar for that to be over. Data assessment complete. Recalculating threat level. Uh oh. Weapon routines authorized. Rerouting core power to Omega One. Oh, he's about to get a power boost. Not yet. Oh dear. Now what? And what makes you say that? Oh! Uh-oh! The music's kicking in! Oh! Hi! Oh! We squared. All right, I'm convinced. <laughs> Holy shit! Oh, that is straight up escape. Listen to that. That is just straight up escape, and I love it. <laughs> Omega Ionosis? Uh, oh shit. Shit be falling. Shit be falling. Woo, this is. This turned into a 14 fight. Oh yeah, stop the Delta attack in its tracks. Oh, I am dodging way too fucking early. That's okay. I'll deal with you soon enough, sir. <laughs> Listen to that! It is awesome sounding! Whoa! Ah, I was a little late. <laughs> it's gonna be raining shit, and I love it. <laughs> okay. Alright, time to crank up the damage. And then lay waste. All that's 187k, baby. Yeah. And that taste, Omega. Oh, oh, he, he, he didn't like it. No, sir, he didn't like it. Do you feel the heat, brother? Seems like it still has some fire left in it. Nice try. Oh, God. Oh, God. Don't know where to stand, don't know where to stand, don't know where to stand! Not standing there, that's for sure. Oh, I wasted that. Hyperextension? Oh! Yeah, he did hyperextend. 
Oh, that's that, that's gonna stink. That's gonna sting a lot. There goes all my wikes. No, wow, I didn't lose any of them. Oh, and I even landed a counter bomb. <laughs> And this should be half stagger. Yep. Because that thing just chunks will. And I wasted that hard. Uh, this is gag again. Oh, and we're mixing delta attack into it first. Eh. Another counter. <laughs> oh yeah, I don't want to get hit by that. Yeah, that was the part I was really hoping to avoid taking that shot. That thing does a lot of damage. Oh, not the atomic ray gag again. Oh, there's our safe spot. <sighs> yeah, you, uh, you gotta work for that safe spot there. time with it. Again, without Odin. High maneuvers? Oh dear. I do not like the sound of high maneuvers. Woo! I did not like the taste of high maneuvers either. Holy fuck. I'm a stone skin potion just because I feel like I'm taking way too many hits here. Oh, not the atomic ray bullshit. Changed. Safeguards removed. Commencing dimensional compression. Wait, what? Dude, that's not safe! I mean, he said he was removing safeguards, but still! Dimensional compression? Oh, he's going for a big bang. Why? Why can't I? Breathe? Because it's constricting all of creation. Well then, we'd better kill it quick. Oh, is this a DPS race? I think it is. Just keep fighting. I think this straight up just became a DPS race. And he has no stagger meter left. I just noticed that. He literally has no stagger meter left. We just need to burn him into oblivion here. Ah, 
lasers, the lasers, dodging the lasers. Running out of room here. Running out of room here. Getting a little hairy. Getting a lot hairy, actually. God, how much life bar do I have left to get through? A lot. Yeah, I hope so. <sighs> this is gonna do a good chunk of damage. Come on! <sighs> Holy Alamets! What a fight! What a friggin' fight! Omega nodule? Crafting material. Okay, fine. <laughs> wow! What a freaking fight that was! This might only be one video. A two hour long video, mind you, but... It'll be one video. Or I'll split it up into two, haven't decided yet. I'd find a good spot to split it if I do. Omega control unit. Offline. Initiating. Emergency core extraction. Um... It, it sounded surprised there for a second. Would you care to do the honors, Clive? Oh, definitely. Gladly. <laughs> <sighs> Just let me uh, use those Ifrit powers. Oh, the fuck are you three doing here? I thought I told you to leave this place. What much you ruin us all. I, I cannot let you do that. Hold on, I want to see. Is there anything here? Oh, there's a butt. There's a bunch of stuff here. Famiel's here. Uh, do, 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 do. He's not said anything new here. Dust crystals. The shadowy shards that line the walls of the sage spire. Famuel and his associates have long mined the crystals to provide for their people. The sudden outgrowth that accompanied the darkening of the skies providing a bountiful yield that they elected to sell for profit. Their close resemblance to those shards that make up the mother crystal suggests that they too are linked to a heart, one that sleeps somewhere within that tower. Yes, it is. Uh, the tower is indeed the source of the realm's dust crystals, the specimens seemingly growing from the walls in large uncontrolled clusters. Also identified as what appears to be a crystalline heart set high upon a central dais. Most disturbingly, however, the tower seems to exhibit a manner of sentience, reacting to those who cross the tower's threshold and speaking to them in a language that is both at once uncomfortably similar and utterly foreign. And the man-made heart. The heart of the artificial mother crystal that sleeps within the sage spire. It closely resembles the heart of the true mother crystals, although the fallen chose to keep theirs inside some manner of magitech shielding system. Until that is, Clive and his allies came to closer comfort, and the tower's intelligence ordered it evacuated to an inner chamber. We need <laughs> these crystals. They're all we have. Nope, you do not. And just who is this we? We are of an ancient tribe. One of the first to lose its lands to the blight. For countless years, we were forced to roam the twins. A nation without a mother crystal. A people without a blessing. So we found our own. The dust crystals provide us a means to survive. Yes, but at what cost? I call crystals. These shards channel ether. And where do you think that ether comes from? It's sucked from the land, as a leech sucks blood from a beast. And what? You just expect us to believe that? Well, it is the truth. No, but that doesn't make what we've told you any less true. If this heart is anything like the others, it will bleed the twins of their life force. Till naught remains, naught but death. The proof is all around. 
What do you think robbed your people of their home in the first place? We are trying to stop that from happening again. And this is the only way. Fuck me. You're Sid. You're perceptive. You saw what happened after the Empire lost Drake's head. What do you suppose they will do when they find out, as they surely will, that there is another heart hidden right here under their noses? Your people's need will count for naught. Besides, I'm cracking this thing, whatever you say to me. Damn it. <laughs> it doesn't look like we have much of a choice. Like you could stop but me anyway. You said you didn't believe him, Chief. I don't. But the man does have a point. There's no keeping this place a secret now. And hanging on to these crystals will only get our people killed. Have it your way then. Just promise me you'll leave my people out of it. Oh, we definitely will. Stand back. It's about to get hot in here. <laughs> I'm about to show off why I am the icon of fire. And, you know, Joshua's the icon of rebirth. Well, the other icon of fire, fine. Yep. Going prime. Ethereal search detected. Yep. Warning. System overload. System overload. Going up. Going down. Probably leave. I suspect this core was keeping the tower intact. Uh, I hope we did the right thing. Yeah, we did. Trust me, we did. This doesn't feel like it in the short term. But sometimes that's the way it goes. Short term loss for a long term gain, but yeah. I honestly feel like the crystals might have been providing a little structural stability here. Either that or their sudden growth has compromised the structural stability and replaced it. So when all the crystals here start to go poofski, well, this tower is going to come crashing down around our heads. We should get out of here. We should really get out of here and quickly. Well, honestly, the place looks a lot neater now, at least. And the crystals, honestly, were kind of messing with the the old symmetry of the place. Just making it look weird. There we are. And I assume that means the lights in this place are going to... There we go. They're all shut down. Good. The door locks again. Most likely never to open again. We all saw the crystals fade, but what of the cages? We barely even explored half of the chambers. Mm, without the heart to sustain them, I doubt those still slumbering in the tower will stir now, if ever. I hope you're right. The last thing the world needs is one of those six-legged pests running around wreaking havoc. <laughs> we have more than enough two-legged pests to deal with as it is. 
however blameless they may claim to be. What? Oh, two-legged. Right. Yeah, that's you. Sorry. I was just wondering what I'm going to tell the village elders when we get back. I'll tell the truth. I suppose I'll just beg them for forgiveness, and when that doesn't work, give them the slip and lie low for a year or two. You're planning to run away. Again. What else? What? It's got us this far, hasn't it? <laughs> I mean, we may have had a bit of help, like. Kind of you to remember. Will you and your people be all right? Oh, we've made do without before. I reckon we'll survive. And if what you said is true, it's not like the rest of the realm's going to have it much easier. True Besides, that. One man's ordeal is another man's opportunity, as the old saying goes. I don't recall ever hearing that one, but fine. Yeah, no kidding. I don't like that one. I don't. I don't like it. That saying sounds like something that I hear just now, like out of a Ferengi or something. Mind, we've got places to be. We do? I mean, we do. Uh, thanks for uh, everything. <laughs> I said we've got places to be. Go on, get out of here. Shoo. Shoo, 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 shoo. Back to the hideaway then. Karen and Hippocrates will want to hear about this. Uh, I was thinking we might first return to the tower and see if we can... Back to the hideaway, then. <laughs> Sorry, Josh. You've been outvoted. <sighs> Back to the tower. Speak with Karen in the hideaway. I can do that. Uh, I can also see if any of the pieces that I've been picking up are upgradable. I suspect they are. All right, first things first. I, I like the Buster Sword, but I want to see what this new blade actually looks like properly. So let's take a peek. Uh, no glamour. Ooh. It's not bad looking. It kind of reminds me of Odin's weapon. So what do I owe the honor? Oh, I'm interested in to see what I can uh, upgrade Where's all of a sudden. Omega weapon. Oh yeah, that definitely gets stronger. No scratches, all right? My reward is with me. Obtain the Omega weapon. Uh, looks like these guys don't have any upgrades. Okay. Anything else? No, I think we got it covered. Thanks, man. Let's get this turned in. Back are ya? So? Did you find out where the dust crystals were coming from, or what? Mm-hmm. It's, uh, a long story. And perhaps one better told in the shelves. Also, the new sword looks badass. I love the purple glow. <laughs> Look at that thing. Oh, that is gorgeous. Oh, I'm so glad I turned the glamour off. Bloody hell. Remind me never to go poking round in any fallen ruins. Unless I remind you we live in one. Not only a mother crystal of human creation, but an icon as well. Truly, the study of our fallen forebears is endlessly rewarding. The wonders of which they were capable never cease to amaze. They came as something of a surprise to us, too. <laughs> you can say that again. We had no idea what we were getting ourselves into when we set foot in that tower. We only knew the old stories. Of a people so consumed by greed that they sought to overthrow the gods. And I'd hazard the thing we found in that tower was conceived for that very purpose. Oh yeah. Omega. The offspring of the Fallen's boundless knowledge and unchecked ambition. A dangerous combination for all concerned. And Ultima crushed them. It was he whose secrets the Fallen coveted, let's not forget. He whom they strove to dethrone. Just as we strive to dethrone him now. Without their knowledge. And without their weapons of war. Clive. Oh, sobering thought there. This power I've been given may exceed even theirs. But if I use it as they did, who's to say things won't end the same way? Come now, brother. 
I think the events of recent days have made it abundantly clear that we are not our ancestors. As well you know. You're right. They made crystals. We destroy them. Mm -hmm. In crafting their artificial heart, the Fallen sought to emulate the Divine. But that is not the path we have chosen. No. We don't want to be gods. We just want to be free. Well said. If one does not learn from the mistakes of the past, one is doomed to repeat them. <laughs> and so, I mean to write down everything you've told me to the very last detail. Good. That those who come after might learn from our travails. And perhaps, just perhaps, forge a brighter future for our descendants. Hmm. <sighs> You keep writing, Hippocrates. You keep making that brighter future, guys. Quest complete! Echoes of the Fallen. Ah, it's so satisfying. <laughs> Nothing. Dusk Shard. Curiosity. Oh, it's curiosity displayed in Clive's chambers. Oh, that's cute. Huh. Repercussion! View trophies. Wait, new items are available at Karen? A new missive has been delivered. What do you mean you have new items? Still alive, are you? Yeah. Going purse weighing you down. What new items do you have all of a sudden, madame? Oh. You're rubbing me blind, you know. <laughs> she had a new orchestrian role. Some new orchestrian roles. That. That's what it was. Finished, are you? Yeah. But now I'm curious what the new missive is. Plus, I want to see the new dark shard in my collection. Uh, there it is. Dust shard. A subtle reflection of mankind. Fiery yet flawed. Brilliant yet brittle. And its future. Clear yet clouded. How the crystal endures despite its mother having faded is perhaps a sign of hope for us all. Indeed. And our one new missive. Dear Sid. I write you this note from Imperial Lands. Yes, I know he said we'd be going straight home, but a little detour to trade the trinkets we picked up on our travels for some trusty gills seemed in order. Give the Elder something to soften the shock of losing the dust crystals like. Truth is, those crystals have long been a lifeline for our people. And though I've been quick to comprehend your reasoning that they'll not be a tether to a sinking ship, humble country folk like mine are rather less receptive to new ideas. Wish me luck in turning them to the righteous path. Famiel. P.S. In the unlikely event that we should find ourselves driven from our home at point of pitchfork, I trust you'll spare us a better three. The lads can sleep on the floor in a pinch. <laughs> you trolley bastard! Ah. Uh, well, there we are. That's going to be it for this one, everyone. If you have enjoyed this, please leave a like and favorite and subscribe to join me for more amazing games like this. And as always, I'll see you in the next series.